What up, squad? It's another glorious day to be alive. And the P.O.P. is strong. Um, so, it is January 20... I think it's January 20th. I'm not sure. It is Martin Luther King Day today. Whatever day that is. Um, I just really wanted to continue with... The progress that I've been making, I uploaded yesterday and the day before. So yeah, um, just want to show you guys what I'm up to um, and what I'm having for breakfast. I'm counting every calorie that I eat and keeping diligent with it. And it's all going into my My Fitness Pal app. Um, if anybody knows how to use the app really well, um, keep message me in the comments. Just because I'm really trying to learn as best way to use this app to get the um, greatest, I don't know, like, I just want to get the most use out of it as possible, and I know there's like a macro part, and I've been going by that, um, it's basically saying 50, it wants me to have 50% carbs, 30% fat, and 20% protein, and um, my carbs have been coming right in at right where it's supposed to. And my car or my proteins have been a little bit higher than they want. It's, it's saying twenty percent. Uh, I've been coming in at like like twenty six to thirty percent, and the fats are a little bit less. But um, yeah. So if anybody knows how to use the My Fitness Pal app, that'd be awesome. Let me know. Add me on Snapchat, Raging Robert. There it is. Um, just so that I can try and get some more information. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and everything's going positive. So getting into what we're doing, I'm making breakfast. There's one yellow potato in here that I shredded, added a little bit of red pepper flake. That's what those yellow and the red specks are. There's some chili powder, some salt in this, and I've got a hot nonstick pan, um, heating up now. And then I'm going to be having four eggs four Kirkland eggs, they are 70 calories each, so that's 280, plus the, uh, um, potatoes, which is 110 calories, and I weighed this out, this potato, uh, one serving of potatoes is 148 grams, this one only weighed 138, so it's actually a little bit less, but I'm just putting it as one potato, so 110 calories for this, 280 calories for the eggs, so that's around 400, uh, 280, so that's about 390 calories, and then, I mean, I've got butter over there, I've got butter right here as well, that's about 100 calories per tablespoon, and that's what I'm going to have to use to cook the eggs, and I'll show you guys everything when I am closer to being done, alright guys. What up squad, so I finished making my hash brown potato pancake thingy and eggs. I didn't use any oil or anything with the potato pancake. I just stuck it into that non-stick pan right there with nothing in there. And then I used one teaspoon of butter. So that's like a third of... A, uh, a third of a, a tablespoon so that brings the calorie count from 100 calories for that tablespoon down to about 33 calories and I got I used the, the teaspoon just so that I can cook my eggs and everything and yeah everything came out looking amazing again I'm tracking everything down to condiments everything weighing stuff out in their proper weights and everything, tablespoons, so when I'm going to use ketchup or 
uh, mustard or anything like that. I'm going by whatever the serving says and counting that into my calories and everything just so that I can be as uh, consistent as possible. And I'm still trying to get between 17 and 2,000. But honestly, um, I haven't been eating about 500, 600 calories a meal. Um, and sometimes I'm only coming in like 1,630, 1,650. Um, one day I came in at, or yesterday I actually came in at, um, 1,500 exactly, I think, I don't know, but yeah, I'm trying to stay consistent, and I'll probably go out there and walk, because it's beautiful outside again, shining, alright guys, I'll see you in a few minutes, what up squad, so, um, we're coming to the end of um, January 21st, which is Martin Luther King Day. I just wanted to give you guys a more updated calorie count of everything. So I'm coming in just over 1,500 calories right now. I've been trying to keep it right around five to 600 calories per meal. And uh, breakfast today, what did I have? I had the four egg white, or the four eggs that you've seen with the... Um, the hash brown patty, and then for lunch, I had basically the same thing I'm having for dinner, um, three servings of potatoes, and, uh, chicken, um, that's six ounces of chicken, so, everything right here is actually under 500 calories, the potatoes are 330 calories, and I did weigh those beforehand, it's 148 grams per serving, so I weigh it right around to 450 grams, and, um, yeah, go from there. So, uh, yeah, I'm just coming in at about 1,500 calories. Um, or just at its 16, like, right, it's like right there at 1,600 calories. But um, I've done that consistently for the past um, four, I think today's day five, but I'm not really sure. But I've been keeping track on my fitness pal and... Again, if any of you guys have any tips on how to use that app better, I'm trying to learn how to use the macros and stuff because they have goals in your macro nutrition part. And if you don't know where that is, um, after you've added your food in and stuff like that, at the very bottom, there's like three black buttons and one of them says nutrition. If you click on that, it brings up your macros, which is the cal or I mean the fat, I mean, yeah, fat, protein, and carbs. And there's um, daily goals. So I'm trying to keep it as close to the goals as possible. And uh, yeah. So lunch, I had the exact same thing. Except I had um, some reduced fat cheese on top of it as well. And it came in right under right under 600 calories. So it was perfect. Um, I didn't want to have any more cheese though with my last meal. Only because of the protein that's in the cheese. Like, it's already telling me I'm a little bit over the goal for my protein. So, I'm trying to keep that as in range from the goals as, as possible on there. Because, I don't know, I'm just trying to do this efficiently so that it gets done right. And that um, I'm never having to wonder about things. So, yeah, I've been trying to stay consistent. I've been consistent. I haven't, everything I've eaten, I've logged everything down to... Um, a serving of Cheetos here, or I know I had, um, what was it the other day? Uh, yeah, a serving of hot Cheetos. So I had a serving of hot Cheetos. I weighed them out, made sure that it was exactly one serving, added those calories in and moved on. So yeah, I'm really trying really hard you guys. And I know that you guys can do it as well. Cause the POP is strong. So strong. Um, not going to be a movie tomorrow. Because I forgot to schedule my uh, ride. But yeah. Other than that, I'm doing great, guys. And I hope you guys are too. The power of positivity will get us through. And hopefully tomorrow, I'll be able to get out there and get some more exercising. Alright, guys. If you guys liked anything I had to say in this video, please give me a thumbs up. i greatly appreciate it. If you haven't joined the Rob Squad. Yee -yee, and the POP, the power of positivity. Then hit that subscribe button. Turn on the post notification little bell that's right there next to the subscribe button to get all my videos as I upload them. Add me on Snapchat, Raging Robert. Add me on 
Instagram, Rob Squad 3800 And until next time, guys, peace.